Hi everyone, I'm Chini from the Ultimate Guide Group, your go-to place for all things adulting. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let's get started. So for those who may not know, we're in a new location. So apologies for the echo, I finally moved into my house that I bought in April 2021. It's been a year plus, but we're finally in the house. Today, I wanna to walk you through how to do luxury for less. So in case you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you go and do that. We had a reel on our page which talked about luxury for less. And in essence, was telling you that I was able to travel to Cancun last year in August 2021 for free. Yep, for free. So we are planning on doing a whole series on our channel as to how it is that you can do luxury for less. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. And this is the first one in that series. So today we're gonna to be covering flights and how to do flights in luxury for less. So I have never paid my hard earned cash for a business class flight outright. And you may be wondering how is that possible? What exactly have you done? This is what I'm gonna to explain to you in the video. The first time that I flew business was when I was 26 and that was as a result of a complimentary upgrade. So let's actually go back to the story that actually generated that reel. How was it that I was able to fly all the way to Mexico from London for free? There are two main ways that you can get flights either for free or for a severely discounted rate. How I used points to be able to fly to Mexico for free. So with me, I am part of the British Airways Executive Club and they have various different tiers. You have the blue tier, the bronze tier, the silver tier, the gold tier and then the platinum tier. And each of those different tiers provides you with certain benefits. I have the BA Platinum Amex card and I also have the Amex Gold card. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just a massive advocate of that whole program. And in essence, whenever it is I buy stuff on my credit card, I'm able to get points as a result of buying that thing on my credit card. So with my BA Platinum card, I think it's maybe like one pound equals 1.5 or maybe two points. And then with my BA Gold card, one pound equals one point. So where it is I'm buying various different things, especially during this renovation, where I've had to spend a significant amount of money renovating the property, I'm able to use either my BA Platinum card or my BA Gold card to collect points. Those points are then redeemable against flights, what are known as reward flights, and that is basically how I was able to get to Mexico for free. So at the time that I travelled, it was in August 2021, and the amount of points that I needed to fly to London from Mexico, I think was about 26,000 Avios points. As I said, I have been renovating my house, I have put a lot of money to it, and you can probably check out this reel, which shows you the costs that I have accrued in renovating this property. Which then meant that I had 26,000 points, and the delta, so the difference, was just to pay your taxes, charges, and fees. And that only came out to £75. So when I was kicking through and trying to get this ticket, what then happened is that there was a pop-up from the Amex card. So one great thing about the Amex Gold card and why you should be using that is because you can use that against various different retailers. We did a highlight on this on our page, so make sure you're following us on Instagram. And that basically means that the points that I accrue on my gold card, I can then use it against other retailers. And one of the retailers is British Airways. I was able to use 26,000 points to be able to get the ticket in the first place. And then I needed to pay 75 pounds. And while I was clicking through, there was a pop-up that said, hey, I see that you have some remaining points and you are able to use those points to set off the additional cash that you need to pay. So that additional 75 pounds. So I used all of my points, both from my BA Platinum card and my BA Gold card. And as a result, my ticket to Cancun last year in August was free. Now, right now we need to give you a disclaimer. We're not financial advisors. If you're looking for professional advice, please go and seek a professional. But what I do, and this is as a result of me having spoken to my sponsor, and it actually works really well for me, is that I have two separate Amex cards. So I have the BA Platinum card and then I have the BA Amex Gold card. One of the great things about the BA Platinum card is that if you spend 10,000 within your reward year, which is basically when it is you signed up for the card. So I signed up for the card in October, so my year runs from October to October. But I get what's known as a companion voucher, which in essence allows you to buy two reward flights for the price of one. That is basically how I've been able to buy business class since 2016. Is it 2016? No, 2018. 
whenever it is I go to Nigeria, I go to Ghana at Christmas and what I'm going to be using when I go to Mexico for my 30th birthday. So what I do at the beginning of my reward year is that I look to spend all of my expenses on my BA black card, so that platinum card, up until I hit the £10,000 mark. And I get an email and a notification to say, hey, you've got your companion voucher, what, what? Then I switch over to my gold card and start to accrue points on that gold card because that can be used against various different retailers. So number two is making sure that you buy a ticket, so either an economy ticket or a premium economy ticket and then upgrade later. So don't buy the amount at that specific day. And whether or not you upgrade before your flight or when you get to the airport, doesn't really matter, but that is how you get a significant amount down on your flight cost. So for example, in 2020, I went to Dubai and in 2021, I was coming back from DC. So for those flights, I had bought a premium economy ticket. And the difference between the premium economy ticket and the business class ticket was about a thousand to a thousand two hundred pounds. However, once I bought that ticket, I then closer to the day got offers to upgrade the flight for my Dubai ticket. So I ended up spending, I think, an additional £250 to upgrade my ticket from a premium economy ticket to a business class flight. In comparison, when I was coming home from DC, I bought a premium economy ticket and the difference, like I said, was about £1,200 and I got to the airport and asked for an upgrade. They didn't have any complimentary upgrades, but they did have paid for upgrades and that was an additional £340 for me to fly business, rather than the £1,000 to £1,200 that I would have paid if I had bought the ticket originally. And so those are the ways in which I've been able to fly business since about like 26 over the last three years. Let me know if there are any other ways that you've been able to buy business class flights or luxury flights or flights in general for either free or for a discounted rate in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video, share it with anybody who might find it helpful, subscribe to our channel and let us know what other things you want to talk about or what other videos we should make in this series of luxury for less. Thanks so much guys. Bye.